And obviously you mentioned, obviously, that you kind of briefly touched on the diversity piece, the equity piece, the inclusion piece. At Network Rail, what are the business doing from those perspectives to kind of, you know, improve them? So it's a, it's a real passion across the business at Network Rail. And we've, um, at the beginning of this control period, um, we republished our, um, our diversity and inclusion strategy. So we've got something called Everyone Matters, uh, and it's available on our website. And that sets out our approach as a business to improve diversity and inclusion across the business um, nationally. And we know, just as you've said, that, that in order to succeed, you really need to attract people from a range of backgrounds with different perspectives and different experiences in order to achieve the plans that, that we've set out. Um, I think as, a, as an organisation and as an industry, um, people are much more... Um, much more accepting of the fact you need that sort of breadth and depth and, and sort of diversity of, of thought to get things done. Uh, but we still got, got a long way to go. We've, we've done quite a lot of work recently in the southern region to build on that national strategy and, and think about how we can move things forward. So um, one of the pieces of work we've done recently is looking at um, recruitment pinch points. So looking at when we're recruiting people into the business, at what point in that process does the uh, shortlisting or the candidate listing become less diverse? Um, and uh, it, we found that it was all around sort of sifting an interview. So I suppose that's not a um, probably not news to lots of people because because that's kind of you know happens across the board. But what we did off the back of that was um, trialed a skills based recruitment pilot. So people did sort of an online test kind of thing to, to test out their skills. And that's how we shortlisted. So there were no names. There was no sort of historic experience. It was all about those skills that, that enabled us to do that. Um, and that kind of that really helped in sort of get more people that um, through that um, initial process than, than might otherwise have, have done so. Um, and it was a real success with the hiring um, managers as well, because they, they saw some good quality people through, through the process. That's really good. Yeah, I was going to say, because obviously transportation itself, I think a fifth of the transport sector employees in Europe are female, which one fifth is incredible considering another majority user. Uh, so, you know, having these types of initiatives to kind of change things up, you know, bringing in unique individuals. I know from a hiring perspective, whenever we're working on long lists and short lists, we're kind of wanting to make sure that we tick off every box and kind of giving the business an insight to individuals who are available, who may not be available because sometimes, you know, just having an awareness of those names uh, is a great thing for internal hiring managers to kind of keep on top of, you know, later on down the line. You know, they may not have been ready right now, but it doesn't mean you shouldn't be aware of them for, let's say, six months time. Um, so it's good to hear Network Rail are really, I would say, taking, you know, that on board and really kind of moving forward with it. Um, that's great yeah. to hear. Well, one of the other things we've done really recently, actually, is a um, uh, sort of bit of positive action. So we've been doing a targeted female campaign okay. uh, for nine roles across the business. Yeah. Um, and those that sort of should be attractive to women, but we've got a disproportionately low percentage of females in those roles. Um, and it's uh, it's live on lots of sort of social media and on screens in our stations. Um, and we were really excited that in just four weeks, we um, we got about 15,000 clicks on our recruitment page in response to those wow. adverts, which is really exciting because it's like, well, how on earth have we not tapped into that interest before? But but how great is that as a, as a kind of um, piece? So we're the campaign's still live um, and we're now tracking how many of those kind of initial interests and clicks actually translate to applications and, and then people that will be appointed. So really exciting opportunity to see whether just doing things slightly differently helps us move the dial a bit 